In this video, we're going to continue our derivation for the maximum likelihood estimator for the population variance sigma squared. So in the end of the last video, we actually derived the maximum likelihood estimator for the population mean mu, which we call mu hat, mu hat uh, maximum likelihood, and it was in turn found to be equal to the sample mean x bar. Okay, so we've got our likelihood, or log likelihood rather, which we derived at the sort of start of the last video. And now what we're doing is we're trying to estimate the population variance sigma squared. So how do we go about doing that? Well, just the same way that we were, when we were looking for the mean, we differentiated with respect to mu. When we're looking to derive the population variance, we're going to differentiate with respect to sigma squared. And if we do that, this first term is going to disappear because that doesn't have any sigma squared in it. This next term is just going to become minus n over two times, uh, or n over two times sigma squared rather, because when you differentiate the log, it goes to one over x, and then this final term here is going to yield one over two times sigma to the power four of the sum from i equals one to n of x i minus mu all squared, and setting that equal to zero actually defines our maximum likelihood estimators for um, sigma squared. And note that we've got this minus going to a plus here because of the fact that essentially we're differentiating x to the power minus 1 here in terms of x being sigma squared in this example. So when we differentiate that, it goes to minus x to the power minus 2. Okay, so if we then go ahead and rearrange this thing, then we're actually going to find that sigma hat squared maximum likelihood is just 1 over n times the sum from i equals 1 to n of xi minus mu all squared. And when we're actually deriving the maximum likelihood estimators, we should actually be using the maximum likelihood estimator for mu as well. So this is all completely tractable because mu hat maximum likelihood is just x bar. So in other words, the maximum likelihood estimator for sigma squared is just the sample variance. And we already know that this sample variance as it stands is itself a biased estimator of the population variance. We actually would need to adapt it by adding a minus one here to the bottom in order to, or it's called the Bessel's correction, in order to actually account for this degree of biasness. But maximum likelihood estimators don't do that, they are themselves biased, but we know that under a certain set of conditions, the maximum likelihood estimators are themselves consistent. In the next few videos, I'm going to continue this example, but we're actually going to go ahead and we're going to derive the variance of the maximum likelihood estimators for the case where we're trying to estimate the population mean and the population variance.